Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do every and DIY and today we have another service call for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for the fourth floor west side of the system. Typically it's usually these condensing units going down. We have a complaint for room 410. We had a service call on this system. We changed the power board and the fan board. And months back, we actually changed the condenser fan motor. Surprising to me, it's actually running. I can actually see that there's no codes. That's good, so it looks like there's an issue with the room itself. I'm just trying to touch the pipe just to see if it's cold. And that suction line is cold so it must be cooling it's a very hot day it's about 90 degrees out here in new york city so that's good news so i wanted to start up here make sure there's not an issue with all the units connected to this condensing unit this one condensing unit is tied into about eight or nine air handlers down on the fourth floor so let's go ahead and see what's going on in that room looks like this is okay and that's good news all right guys we're in the room Here's the, where the air comes out. Here's a supply grill. Look at the temperature. And it felt nice coming in here. It's 54.9 degrees and dropping. So the issue is that it was too warm in here, but that's clearly not the case. It actually feels good in here considering it's like 90 degrees out. The issue is I barely, barely feel any air coming out of here. And for those of you who actually watch my videos, I'm sure you know why. I know this isn't a test, but man, it can't even move a dollar bill. And you know, Benjamin Franklin, my boy don't lie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't lie out here. There's no air movement here. It's like, I barely feel anything. Those fan blades are 100% packed, and that's without a doubt. When you don't feel air movement, makes it seem almost as if nothing is working you turn on the ac and in half an hour it still doesn't feel like cold like as you believe it should be then you think it is a problem but it's running and you hear that sound that's the bearings oh man you can't get to anything over here man <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see what's going on. Guys, look at this access. Okay. Here's the control panel. That's great and all. But how are you supposed to get in there? The, the, the fan is over here. Got all this in the way. I can only stick my hand in there for the camera. But that's the filter. And the motors are behind the filter. Without a doubt, there is no access here. I can see they made a tiny little access panel right there. Probably to try to change the filter, because even here it's ridiculous. You probably can't even get in, into place properly. That's, that's one of the issues. But without a doubt, you're not getting those motors out. You're not getting anything out. You can't get to the coil, nothing. I told them everything has to be redone. This whole building needs to be cleaned. It's been delayed. I think that we came here so many times, we already went past <laughs> their HVAC budget. So, that, so possibly beginning of 2024, they're going to start to take care of this. The only things that they're taking care of is emergency calls and if just if uh, a customer complains. And this was one of the complaints. It's working, but not well. If it takes two hours for it to start getting a little bit cool in here and you still feel no air movement, well, that's a problem. Let's see, I can't even, doing this blinding. I can't twist my, I can't even twist my wrist in here, man. Come on, look at that. I can't even twist my wrist to even get in here. What a nightmare. I got the shower on the way. All right, here's nice access. Could fit about a hand in here. And look what's blocking you. <laughs> Who, whose man's is this for real? Who did this? 
barely even get this light in here. But I can't even reach that. I can't even reach those filters through this. Unreal, man. You gotta go to the other side and there's barely any space. Huh. That's great. Beautiful. All right, so this section of the wall is gonna need to be cut out so we can get to everything, drop everything. Cause really you can't, you can't get to anything. I could barely get to this filter. I'll be able to pull it out, you know, blinded. Like, oh man, my wrist hurts even trying that. Hold up. Let's try to just pull this thing just so we can see behind it. And even then that's difficult. I need two hands with this, hold up. This might be obstructed, but okay, hold up. All right, they cleaned the filter. Let's see what's going on back there. I legit can't even stick my head in there to just peep to see what's going on. I have to do it with a camera. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And see what happens. All right, so I legit can just barely stick my head in there. But look, that's what's behind the filter. Look at the condition of just the casing of these motors. Let's see if I can get a few photos in there and see what we see of how the blade looks like. But I already know, and you guys already know, the whole building is in this terrible, terrible condition. Okay, so I was able to take a few photos, but even then, it was hard to even get a clear shot. I'm gonna run the camera through the blower section so you guys could hopefully see something. It's not, not, not a guarantee right now. It's gonna be squeezing through this tight little space. You know, I hope you guys could see something. I couldn't even try to direct anything. I'll try to also move the light. Hopefully you guys can see something. Man, this thing, this is just so tight. I just, I just want you to see the, how packed the blade is. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just completely packed. Yeah, you can see right there. I wish this could zoom in. Look how bad that is inside there, just caked up. Hopefully you guys can see something. But it's just straight cake in there, man. It's really bad. It goes all the way along there. It's all just as bad. All right, so in the last section, I was able to get a nice photograph of how packed it is, and they're all like that. So the customer, this is a hotel, so customer was hot. I feel like it wasn't working. Essentially, it actually was. You guys saw the temperature, you know, that's air conditioning temperatures, plus 90 degrees. Those are actually really good temperatures. You would feel cool now that I'm looking at it. Look at this wet stain here. Mm, got other issues here, right? Mm -hmm. But this absorbent pad seems to be doing the trick or it's just stained, not sure, but there's clearly a discoloration here. But anyways, the machine is running up top. Pipes are cold. Excuse me, the condensing unit's running up top. The suction line is cold. This unit is clearly blowing out cold air. The fans were running. The issue is that you don't feel really any air movement and it's gonna be because of those dirty, dirty fan blades. And just look at this. How are you supposed to get to the family that's over here. The way this was designed was very poor. And you guys know the drill here. We need the whole bottom of this unit free. And there's not even proper access to change this filter properly. So who's really maintaining this? Seriously, nobody. This unit, these air handlers are about 12 years old, but the condensing units were all changed on the roof. And funny story guys, it got so bad in this building that they had to send out the engineer from Korea, from LG, and they came up here. And after all that they did, all they did was put in those suction line filter dryers. 
and they actually gave them all new condensing units all the multi v4 units that we work on they gave them all of them for free under warranty they put them in and a couple years later they're having the same issues why they never changed this they never did any maintenance on this i'm sure i am sure without 100 percent that this is playing a huge role into why these condensing units and the compressors keep going if these blades are packed we don't have proper airflow so not only do we have bad air conditioning we have a low suction pressure and what happens is that liquid migrates all back to the compressor and you know the compressor is a vapor pump i believe that there's liquid migration and it's trying to pump liquid and they fail because they keep failing mechanically like electrically like we do the insulation resistance tests and stuff like that typically those check out but when you start the unit they just have super high amps and just internally they fail mechanically so there really could be liquid migration without a doubt with all this plus there's eight other air handlers connected all sending back liquid back there i'm sure this is causing a huge issue this is just completely a nightmare and there's not even access to do all this well seems like this is a lot of problems so even with those suction line filter dryers when i change the compressors and i try to take out the filter dryer well i opened them up there's nothing in there and they just left the the casings up there which should have been eliminated because 100 percent that's also causing an oil trap because i opened it up before and there's literally oil being trapped in there so between liquid migration and little traps from the suction line filter dryers plus this building is so tight that's why there's no access to anything there's no space to run anything properly. You know without a doubt they had to do really weird turns and twists with the piping. So I'm sure that's also causing some sort of oil traps. There's so many pipes connected to one unit. So all that's going on. They got to get rid of those suction line filter dryers. They got to cut down every single ceiling in this unit. And I'm telling you right now, there's, a, there's 135 of these air handlers that do not have access. We've cleaned maybe three of them by now, and each time we have to cut down the ceiling, I told them they need to remedy that. So anytime you cut down the ceiling, when you put it back up, don't just cover it back up, because next time you need a repair, it's gonna be another issue. They need to have access, proper access. <laughs> they don't do that. It's honestly getting insane, but we're gonna end this video here. This ceiling needs to be cut down, and this unit needs to be cleaned, along with every single other one in this entire building. <laughs> so if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.